I feel it's fitting that I'm starting to record this video just as my neighbor drives by in his Aventador. I know I can just tell by the exhaust noise because I hear it on a, a regular basis and I think he has two of them, actually. I guess he really likes Aventadors or something. I don't think he gets it, like he has two different colors. I don't think he gets it wrapped and unwrapped that quickly. I'm pretty sure there's two. Eh. I don't know. Anyway, um, in honor of the video that just went up over on the Vlogs and Stuff channel where I take the Ferrari into West Coast Customs to get a little bit of work done on it, I figured we would, for the first time ever, revisit a subreddit that seemed to be everyone's favorite, which is Shitty Car Mods. Now, I hope that my car won't necessarily be a candidate for this when I get it back. I think it'll look pretty cool, but then again, everyone has differing opinions. But what we can do is we can filter by top for the month. And since it's been over a month since we browsed it, it'll be all new stuff, should be pretty good. Let's do it. We'll start off with, um, let's see, window replacement. That's, um, that's a window, all right. Uh, I feel like there would be a way to make that look kind of cool and interesting if it weren't for the really tacked on caulking or insulation or the comment is the actual window would probably be cheaper on eBay. It, it seems like a lot of effort actually because you would have to make sure that it's the right size because that's a pretty snug fit there against the bodywork. You would have to, you know, deal with the fact that now it doesn't roll down anymore and that you just got that stuff all over your paint because it's dripping onto your paint down there by the gas tank. Yeah, questionable decision it honestly probably would have been easier just to fix but hey you know what i guess sometimes you're like i can't wait for the window to to chip and come in i've just i've got this you know window sitting around in the garage let's just stick it in there why not what's the worst that could happen that i suppose just wow what in the world is that i'm, I'm fairly certain that's not legal like real not at all legal i don't think you're allowed to just cut the roof off and remove the doors on your car because like that's pretty integral to the the body like cars that are drop tops they have to reinforce the the bottom because the roof is actually a pretty important structural element for hard top vehicles i can just imagine the thing just breaking like if you have to go up a, a really bad driveway and it gets onto three wheels and just breaks in half were you sitting in the truck bed when you <laughs> took this picture? <laughs> From the looks of the bed, the truck was probably missing the rear window. <laughs> oh god. The roast in the OP on this one, dang! It turned from uh, that car being the focus to uh, to the guy who actually took the photo. Okay, two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive conversion. Oh, what do we have? Why, but why though? Would you do that? <laughs> I'm gonna have to read the comments on this one because I just don't get the why. I'm pretty sure that that's not how it, I don't, I don't need, no, I don't know. I guess, could that potentially work? If you got stuck in like a, I don't know, the mud, would, would that actually, I guess that might, would work, wouldn't it? As long as the nothing broke and shrapnel didn't go flying off and kill someone. Oh my god, this seems so practical and safe. I wonder why more people didn't do this. It doesn't seem very safe, at, at the very least. Sigh, I hate where I live. Is that an exhaust pipe coming out of the... I mean, the top comment seems to suggest it's just a trash can. Is it really an exhaust pipe? I'm curious. I don't know. Maybe it is. Uh, maybe he's just transporting an exhaust pipe that's going to be used for something else. That could be something that goes on the roof of a building to get rid of... I don't know, excess, well, it's stove exhaust. I don't know if it's actually the trucks, it's hard to tell. I'm gonna give the guy the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he's just transporting that for use elsewhere. Unless I saw a GIF and there was actual, like, smoke coming out of it. Be an odd, oh no, oh, I'm an idiot, no! No, look at the paint! The paint is, it's got, like, soot on it, right there! Look, that's clean, that's, it's real! Oh my god, why did you, why would you do that? Okay. Need a tow, man. Dude, they're tow using a Prius to tow. Oh, God. Also, I'm pretty sure that the back end of the Prius is not supposed to be that close to the ground. I, like, that's just the, the suspension on that thing is just compressed beyond belief. Good God. Oh, yeah, that's, that's not on the chains dragging on the ground. That's not good at all. Uh, the top comment says it's just plain dangerous since the trailer's still on the jack. I'm hoping this was a joke and they didn't drive it. You never know though, that would be kind of a silly thing just to set up and take a photo of. Like if I were just gonna take a photo of something for fun, that's not, I'd been like, all right, let's hook up the trailer to the Prius, drive the Jeep onto it. 
gonna be a hilarious photo. I mean, if they were going to try to get viral on this subreddit, maybe it works. I don't know people's intentions, but eesh. Also, it's a Prius to begin with, so the driver's probably not very good. Sorry if you own a Prius and you watch this, but there is no doubt, there is no doubt, Prius drivers commit more dumb driving moves than any other cohort of drivers. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but anytime that I see someone do something dumb on the road, there's a very good chance it's a Prius. Now, that said, yes, there's a high concentration of Prii here in LA, but even then, per capita, I swear they do more things that are just like, oh God, why? In addition to just always driving slow. So, all right, my Prius rant for the, uh, for the day is done. Again, sorry if you drive a Prius and, and you watch this. Maybe, hey, you, I'm not talking to you. All right, you're a good driver. You and your Prius, you're the exception to the rule. But it's just all those other people, okay? Porsche body kit. Oh, this is looking real good from the thumbnail. I hope this is in the... I don't even, I don't know what to say. I, it's a, it's an actual Porsche. I thought from the thumbnail, it was either like they were trying to build a Porsche on top of another chassis, or it was actually in the salvage yard. No, that's an actual Porsche. Jesus Christ. That might be a winner. Like we're, we're only at like number 13 for the month, but that might be a winner. I, that's just depressing, honestly. That's just so depressing. Why would you do that? Hyundai Genesis pickup truck. Huh? <laughs> what the heck is oh, we're getting into good stuff here. Why well, just well, it's oh, yep. It's like they capped off the end of it pretty well. Like good bodywork to finish what where the car is. And then I it's like they took a bunch of kind of industrial storage containers and just glued them together and then put an axle under it and they were like, yep, that's done. That looks like it's gonna fall apart at any moment. Like, I was worried about the dude who cut the roof off of his car. This guy is gonna just... <clears throat> just imagine driving on the freeway or something and your car breaks in half. What if you... That's so illegal. It's so illegal. Don't do illegal shit to your car. God dang, dude. The ultimate wide body. No, this is not two cars stuck to... It's like an inverse limousine. <laughs> It's like, it's like the, the, the guitar that Jimmy Page played, the double guitar. It's so many things. What? How do you drive that? How do you drive that? That's too wide to go in. What? It, it must be like a theme park attraction or something like that, that has a particular course built just to drive it or something or in a safari park. Wow. If the fake blood wasn't enough, the terrible wheel color ruins it. Oh. God, why would you do that? God, this is bringing back some like, some some real bad memories from just earlier today as watching this show that is not a show that has any, I'm trying to not say the name of the show because I don't want to, in case anyone, not that this would be a spoiler at all because a minor. Not a show where you would expect any blood or gore or anything. It's like a very tame, mellow show and just all of a sudden someone gets their foot run over by a lawnmower in graphic detail. And it's like just, Bring back the blood splatter memory from earlier on today. Oh God, why would you do? I feel like that would just be a good way to get yourself pulled over frequently. Like, sir, did you hit a deer earlier today? No, 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 no. I just wrapped my car like this. Okay, we're gonna have to like swab the hood, make sure you're actually telling the truth. Recipe for getting pulled over a lot. Seems like a good, good plan. Ever thought about turning your car into a house? Oh. No, you actually mean make your car part of your house. Right. <laughs> it's like the car itself is trying to hide from something. It's like, all right, where do I go? Where do I go to just blend in? Oh, I see this house over here. All right, I'll just, I'll just, I'll blend in. Nobody's gonna notice me. I'm covertly disguised. I mean, hey, I, I would at some point in my life love to bring a car into my house, but not have my car be the house. And by car in the house, I mean, like my dream, my absolute dream would be to one day have an underground garage that has a, a circular platform I could drive the car onto and it will be able to lift it up. The roof will be of the garage will be like the living room floor and there will be a part of the living room floor that will slide, will slide out. The bottom garage elevator will lift up into its place and the car will be on display in 
the living room or the game room. Maybe the game room would be like a cool place to do that. But how sick would that be? You just pull into the garage, you park it on that platform, you're sitting in the car, you hit that freaking button, probably cell phone controlled because we're in the freaking future here, and you get raised into your game room or your living room, and it's just a freaking car right there on the elevator, and you hit it, it retracts, the floor fills back in. Right, because this thing, it slides out. You don't want there to be a hole in your floor. That would be bad. Yeah, I just went off on a dream tangent there, but but still, one day I would love to have a car in my house. Not in the garage, in my house. What? But why? Why though? Because why not, I, I suppose? At least it seems like maybe it was well done. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt and say that uh, you have to maybe at work park in real tight spaces where you can't effectively open the door wide so having it go scissor vertically you can park real close to other cars on either side of you even though your wheels stick out so far from your frame already that you have to give yourself a lot of room otherwise you simply just you know can't even fit in the space hey i'm trying to justify it that's all i'm trying to give you truck owner the benefit of the doubt at least it looks normal when the door is down real life micro machines spotted in indiana Oh no. You know what? At least it's the SLK and not the SL. I'd be it'd be even more heartbreaking if it were the SL. I'm not I'm not big in the SLKs. Just hold on. If you are looking for a car and the SLK is in your budget, I'd say just no, go for an E-class or something like that. It's SL or bust, really. That's all. That's all I'm saying. But that's my advice. But anyway, this, yeah, it's just it's slightly, slightly less bad than the Murano convertible that we once saw, but still, I, I don't think I could stop staring if I ever saw that in public. I'd just, I'd be blown away. Blown away. Any lower and you'd have to be sitting in a pothole. All right, from the thumbnail, it looks like this car has fallen into a swamp, and I assume that I am completely mistaken. Nope. That can't actually be a thing. It, it actually, like, Zoomed out, I'm gonna go back. It looks like it's fallen into a swamp from the thumbnail. It really does. What do you drive? I don't understand. You can't drive it. It's gonna scrape on the ground. Like those other cars that last time, I was like, oh, it'll scrape on the leaf. It'll just you'll destroy it on a reflector in the road. No, this is just on the ground. It's like sparks are probably just flying as the thing drives along. I, 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 I just don't get the idea of lowering cars to the extent where they are no longer even able to be driven. Family road trip Lamborghini, question mark. It's gonna be a Lambo with with the roof rack on it, right? I, you know what, John Olsen, the, the skier dude, he had a, what, was it a Gallardo or a Huracan that had the roof rack? It's kind of cool, actually. I don't think it's a shitty car mod. I think it's kind of cool. This is not the first time I've seen it. I mean, granted, I would be terrified to drive it through the snow as he, well, John Olsen, I don't know who owns this one. I, I would assume that Wynick owns this one. Uh, <laughs> taking a wild guess there. But yeah, other than the not really wanting to go where the roof rack would, would have use, ah, I, I dig it. I think it's, if you're willing to take that thing snowboarding, and I've seen a Lambo I, I, a while back, it was like a year and a half ago, uh, went snowboarding with, with Tom and Mini Lad, and I saw a Gallardo in the parking lot. <laughs> People do it. So, eh, why not? It's pretty cool. Oh, this, see, in the in the title, Baja Miata, honestly, I love it, but it might be at home here, too. So we got some subjective outlooks here. Let's see. Uh, eh, if it was done properly, maybe, but also, it looks like they just cut, like, they just took a saw and sawed the trunk in half for the spare tires, just sawed the wheel wells, threw the big wheels on if executed correctly cool just this is not it no but i appreciate the effort because i assume it was likely a diy job if you forked over the cash and took it into a a real shop and executed it it could be kind of nifty well um that's it for the top for this month on shitty car mods i hope you've enjoyed and um well like i said hopefully when I retrieve my vehicle in a few days, uh, it won't be at home here. I mean, like I said, I think it's gonna look pretty sweet, but it's a, um, it's a subjective thing as we 
obviously have figured out because I don't mind the family road trip Murcia Lago. I'm, I'm, I would never do it to mine if I had one. Cool. Well, uh, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you liked. Check out the playlist in the description or if you just want to watch the first video that I did on this subreddit, um, that's there as well. And subscribe if you're not already. If you want to listen to music uh, in the outro that's playing, it's over on their music. And I'll see you next time. Running.